Donald Trump was mocked, attacked really, for saying the Obama administration spied on him. But nine months later, reassessed that statement. Was he right? Plus, after a 2017 where the country nearly tore itself apart, we've got suggestions for surviving this new year. Coming up. Nine months ago, President Trump sent out a tweet that shocked a lot of people. Here's what it said. Terrible, exclamation point. It just found out that Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower just before the victory. Nothing found. This is McCarthyism. Now, the press jumped on that tweet. The claim was ridiculed, to put it mildly. Should it have been, though? Is it time to reassess? Maybe that was true. And if it is, kind of a big deal. Michael Flynn had his life destroyed, apparently because the FBI was monitoring him. Meanwhile, the FBI may have used the infamous Trump dossier to justify a FISA warrant against the Trump campaign. Obama administration officials unmasked Trump aides whose phone calls were then monitored. It looks an awful lot like the past administration deliberately spying on its political opponents. Isn't that what they got Nixon for? Dan Bongino is a former NYPD officer and Secret Service agent, and he joins us tonight. Um, Dan, there, it, the evidence is stacking up. I don't know how his wires tapped. I'm not exactly sure what the president meant by that. But it looks like people in his orbit working for his campaign were being surveilled by the administration. Why is that not a huge story? Um, Tucker, it should be. We're only looking at what I believe to be the biggest political scandal um, of our lifetime. Um, you know, chalk that up to hyperbole if you're a liberal out there who's frightened by those words. I don't care. I, I really, I, could ca I couldn't care any less about your opinion on this. We know some things for a fact right now. Yeah, was the use of the word wiretap maybe poorly worded, but Trump wasn't a federal agent. He's just using the word as people in normal, everyday conversation would use it. Was Trump surveilled, as you said? Tucker, no reasonable, sane person can question that. Was Trump surveilled by the Obama administration? No reasonable person can question that. Is there still no evidence of a predicate crime to surveil your opposition political presidential candidate who won the presidential election? We know that for a fact, too. And yet liberals seem to be whistling Dixie. They seem to have no problem with what, in my opinion, is an unbelievably blatant attack on the constitutional republic and an effort to overthrow a lawful election. So when you say we know, I just want to um, give one example that I think is kind of definitive or clo close to definitive anyway. In the statement of offense that the independent counsel, Robert Mueller, put out about General Flynn, there is mentioned a number of times of phone calls between Flynn and transition officials, one of whom is described as a senior transition official, a, a Trump guy. And remember, this is before the inauguration, and the contents of those calls is described in some detail. Isn't that prima facie evidence of, uh, of surveillance? Uh, only if you're not in a mental hospital. I mean, uh, Tucker, how do you think they got this information? Uh, well, ESP? Yeah. Extrasensory perception? I mean, they got this by applying for a FISA warrant, a FISA warrant to spy on Trump campaign officials under the guise of using what we would call reverse targeting. In other words, Tucker, let's pretend we're targeting a foreign agent as, as, as a, a predicate reason to really listen to an American citizen we're targeting in the first place, hence the term reverse targeting, which, by the way, Tucker, entirely defeats the purpose of the Bill of Rights. That's why libertarians and strong conservatives out there have always been skeptical about the monopolistic power of the government right now to surveil people without probable cause warrants. Yeah. And this FISA thing is a scam. It should concern everyone regardless of your political stripes. Then why do Republicans in Washington, because I'm going to disagree with you on that, Republicans in Washington have defended this since right after 9-11 and assured us that it stopped a lot of terror plots, they never provided evidence for that, but that we're not supposed to complain about it, it's unpatriotic to raise questions. Why have so many D.C. Republicans defended this so relentlessly for so long? Yeah, and just let me be clear, when I say FISA scam, I'm talking about the FISA warrant on Trump. The program has some merits, Tucker, in the targeting of overseas actors. They right. have no Bill of Rights, foreign, uh, of you know, for, foreign actors and terrorists have no. That's I'm, I'm not suggesting. That. But I'm Americans, about specifically but with, Americans yeah. swept into this, or this program right. being used uh, as a pretext, basically, to spy on Americans. Why wouldn't that be of grave concern to everybody? 
Uh, because you have uh, uh, liberals right now and a far left activist group that is so infected with the Trump derangement syndrome virus that they're willing to literally forfeit away everything, including, Tucker, the potential in the future that they themselves could be the very same targets of the big government police tactics that are they're championing well, now in the effort right to attack Trump. That's it. And thank heaven we have Richard Goodstein. We're going to ask about that who's sitting on the set. Dan, thank you. It was great to see you. Yes, sir.